So today I'm going to make my own laundry washing liquid. Um, so first if you have an empty bottle, preferably an old laundry type where it's got the measure in the top. So once you've made your mixture, it's easier just to do a quick measure and then put it in your washing machine in the normal drawer. Okay, so firstly, the soda crystals, I'll get these from Wilco's. And all I need is one tablespoon. And then I'm going to have one tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda, also from Wilco's. So do one tablespoon of this. And then I'm going to have one tablespoon of Epsom salts. You can get these from most chemists. I got mine from the Sainsbury's chemist. I'm going to use pure castile soap. This is Dr. Bronner's. I think that's how you say it, pure castile soap. Um, you can get these from Holland and Barrett. It's about £10, I think. But you do get quite a lot and you only use two tablespoons. So you can imagine how long this is going to last. This one is the unscented baby mild pure castile soap. Just because I've got quite sensitive skin. But you can get different um, scents. Let's do a tea tree one, lavender one, several others. Um, but yeah, it's really good. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of this. Oh, and um, now I'm telling you wrong. I don't want to add this yet because with castile soap, it really foams up and I need to shake this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with warm water from the tap obviously leaving room for this and a little bit of shaky room so so I filled this up with some warm water from the tap and I'm just screw the lid on and I'm going to give it a good shake you don't, it's never going to entirely dissolve all the salts and all these dry things um, and every time you come to use it you will have some settlement so you just need to gently shake it it's fine okay so that's pretty much mixed it's cloudy now i'm going to add my two tablespoons of the castile soap one it suddenly goes really really cloudy so it must be special now I'm gonna add some essential oil sweet orange oil essential oil I got this online I couldn't find it in the shops um, so I've got a rather big bottle it, it smells amazing and it goes really well with the laundry liquid some scents they just don't cover it well or it just doesn't smell right but this really just smelled like something you buy at the supermarket when you do your own laundry liquid you will notice that it's amazing you don't need extra softener it's it has with epsom salts soften your clothes for you so you do not need to add softener it's an all-in-one and you'll notice that when you get your clothes out they are so soft um, so yeah, just to be aware that you're not going to get that really fresh laundry liquid like you do with the commercial ones. It is rather different, but this does help. So here I'm going to put between 5 and 10 drops. I'm going to put 10 actually. Okay, I'm going to finish topping up the sort of water. So it's as you can see this is by the way this recipe is for a 750 milliliter bottle and this will do I don't know how many washes I get out of this I think probably 12 to 15 something like that but when I use it in the wash all I do is I use one cap full 
in my normal in your tray where it's marked two in your little drawer in your washing machine uh, just put one capful in there if I've got really a lot of laundry in there or there's probably more stains I might put another half capful or something like that in but generally I don't do that I usually just put one capful in but this is just I love this recipe such a simple recipe and quick and easy if I run out I've got the things to hand and I quickly make another batch it's not a problem and you can see how few ingredients it is so hope you enjoyed the video and um, hope you found it useful like I did and thank you for watching Bye.